Hi, I'm Mike, and today I'm going to do a follow-up to a video I did about branding. Um, I actually have a lot more to tell you, and things have changed for me when it comes to branding. Um, that has actually really helped me. So I wanted to kind of tell you about this. You know, no matter what business you're doing, you need to brand yourself. Whether you use your own name or you create a company name. And I actually made a slight mistake when I started to brand and I wanted to talk to you all about it because I think it might help you. First of all, you know, for the past, I'd say for ever since I was in about 8th grade or 7th grade, I've been using the name Mike Burke. And that's what I went by. That's what I wanted everybody to call me. I didn't want to use my full name. I, I even thought about legally changing my first name to Mike. And I got involved in the entertainment business when I was 13 years old. I started doing comedy and eventually did my own television show. So I was making a name for myself in that business. Eventually, I started making movies using that same name. I was writing films, directing, acting, you know, the whole thing. And then I started writing books. And yet, with all of that that I was doing, I wasn't getting in, you know, I wasn't easily found. You know, if you Googled my name, I wasn't coming up. If you went, went on the Internet Movie Database, not only would you see my name, but you'd see about, you know, 40 other names who have my name. And that's when I realized, you know, there are thousands of guys who have my name. And there's no way that I'm going to be able to, to, to rise above the bunch, you know, unless I made a change. So I decided to add my middle initial. And quite honestly, I don't like it. I don't think it sounds good. You know, Mike M. Burke. I don't like it. But that's what I go by. So I started using that, and I thought it would be difficult to rebuild my name again, rebuild my brand. I changed all of my films, added my new name, um, changed it in Internet Movie Database, and any new books I wrote, I used that name. Well, recently I did a search on Google to see, you know, what the results were. And I did not put my name in quotes, and I showed up on every link. Every link. I was all over the first page of Google and part of the second page. When you do an image search with that name, more than half of the images that show up were mine. My efforts worked. They actually worked. And what's important about that is the more work I do, the more people are going to find what I'm doing. So if someone f finds me here and they like what they read, you know, say it's a blog post about photography that I'm doing. Well, they're going to go and do a search now because they want to find out more. And unlike before, if they did that search, they weren't going to find me. Now they will. It's because I, I did something with branding. Second part about this is I also have a film production company. And that company is called Mystic Night Pictures. And it was the same kind of deal. You know, I had to, you know, do something with that company to get it to be found. So I kind of went with the same process. Well, now what's happened is my company is becoming more and more known in Hollywood. And I'm getting contacted constantly by people pitching me their film ideas. And uh, right now, I'm not in the, you know, I don't have the time to be producing other films right now. Um, but the point is, is that it worked. And my company is now being easily found. The mistake I made was in my online marketing business, I started using the name J.R. Burke. Now, J.R. stands for junior because I am a junior. But I was concerned that my marketing business and my entertainment business would come together and collide, and that would hurt me. So I started writing you know, blog posts under the name J.R. Burke. I was making these videos, and I started to realize something that you know I was actually hurting myself. I already had an established name. I already got myself on Google's front page. And to now take, take that away, take that out of the picture when I had built something and then try to go start over here with this, I should have just kept the names the way they were. So I wanted to show you that because that's an example if you don't brand yourself correctly or if you are branded, either way you need to brand your business and you need to be smart about it and use your name on everything you do. For example, I, I've created a work at home report which is all based on all of my experience of all of the online jobs I've done and I wanted to create a big report that talked about the things that actually worked 
because that's the biggest problem is finding something that works. So I created this report and I sell it pretty cheap. I sell it for five dollars and um, what I did was I named the report Mike M. Burke's Work at Home Report. So that way I branded that product. So when I'm selling it, people are going to see that name and they're going to search it and they're going to find everything else I'm doing. So that is a really important thing and it, and it makes you a powerhouse business person because you're the expert. You know, your name is on it. You're the expert. You know, people will learn to trust you because your name is all over and it's not just about the name, it's because you have quality content. You know, I teach people what I'm learning. So when people see me, they see the videos that I'm doing, they see the, the lessons that they can learn and the, the things that help them, and they know that I'm talking about things from experience. You know, I can prove myself to people now because I have made a name for myself. I have plenty of evidence of who I am, plenty of it. You know, I've, have, I've been writing for 12 years now online, so that's 12 years of online work that I have. So it really does work, and that's really important whether you use your own name or you come up with a name, and uh, I hope that helps you in your business. If you want to learn more about my business, I invite you to, to visit the website, and uh, I will see you next time.